conspiracy that has everyone in Summerland talking. And while the public will get to have their say at a formal meeting sometime in February, Castanet hit the streets to find out what the temperature is ahead of time. I'm concerned about the effects on the uh, water aquifer that feeds the fish hatchery. That's my primary concern about the bank's uh, crescent development. Summerland needs to be kind of, you know, some, some changes are for the good. I don't think it's a good idea. Why not? Too big, wrong location. I also think the roads and the traffic may be an issue. Oh yeah, we need rooms. We need rooms for the old people. They're, we're, they're, we're, we're shy of them as it is now. They're, they have really, they have nowhere to go. Well, I think the location is a really bad location. It's in a red zone, which means uh, they really shouldn't be building there. I mean, originally the idea was to build one that was close to the library, just on uh, Wharton, which is just a few blocks away from here. And if you had, say, a senior's home there, those people who are staying in the, um, in the senior's home would be able to walk to stores, would be able to go to the doctor's office, the pharmacy. All of the other amenities are already here in the, de in the center of Summerland. So why put all of these people so far away? My father wanted to be closer to downtown and there was no place for him then and, and there still isn't. The councillors here in Summerland should have told the developer right from the start that this was probably a bad idea. Want to join the conversation? Drop us a line at letters at castanet.net. For Castanet News in Summerland, I'm Chelsea Powry. Read letters to the editor in our letters section under the opinion button in the yellow masthead. Email your letters to letters at castanet.net. <laughs>